All right, so there's a couple things we can talk about here. Uh, there's some weird ones, like if you pull out and pull back in, it's gonna elongate, that's actually a feature. If it's doing that uh, automatically, like if you had a, it look like this all the time, every time you're dragging it out, um, that's the strength multiplier, but if it's doing that and it's like in a bad state, hold down control and that'll snap it. Uh, it's basically snapping it to your brush size, but it'll take it out of that bad state and then it should behave as normal. Uh, so as far as like holding down shift to constrain, it's gonna do like kind of a weird constraint, like I don't even know what that is. And how you find out what that is, is if you hit W, and uh, by default you're gonna have your gizmo, and your gizmo is gonna look normal. However, if you go out of gizmo mode by hitting Y or touching that button up there, you're gonna see my this transpose line is what's dictating how the IMM is constraining. So, uh, how you fix that, or how you change that, is uh, if you want this to be straight, just take that transpose line and hold down Shift, and can snap it to constrain it. And then uh, now you have your transpose axes. You can see this red and this blue uh, going in any direction. So now when I hit Q and then we drag this out, you're gonna hold down shift and now it's going to constrain uh, to that camera angle. An alternative to that is you can go, and that's kind of camera based, you know, just straight out on that axis. You can also go into your picker menu and that's just over here underneath picker. Drag this out and just touch that here. And now you're gonna see, uh, no matter, and that's basically an arrow coming at you. So as, as I go and I drag on here, it's not following that surface normal anymore. It's, and I'm not even holding down shift. It's just literally coming straight at me to my camera. So I can move this arrow over here, just click and drag, and now it's always going in that direction. So let's go ahead and back this out. And we can turn on continuous orientation just to get it to behave like normal. So now if I have a flat plane here and I want my, I want to like constrain it nice and straight along this flat axis, if I hold on shift, uh, hey, it actually does a great job because the last thing I dragged out on this plane was on my IMM brush. And if I hit W, the transpose line will follow that. So if I hit Q and drag out over here and hit W, you're going to see, oh, now my transpose line uh, is kind of in this orientation. However, if I hit Q and then drag here and hold down shift as I drag out, it's going to be set to that previous uh, orientation that we dragged that IMM out. So if you want to reset that, let's hold down control shift and clip that back a little bit more. What you can do is uh, if you drag straight out, it's still gonna set that orientation like this. It's gonna be, see how it's straight up and down? So if I hit Q and hold down shift, it's gonna point straight at me. Instead, what you wanna do is you're gonna see as I drag across here, uh, these axes are updating uh, here. So if I just drag straight out over here and have it snap to another uh, vert, you're gonna see now I have this axis orientation, which is perfect, that's what I want. So now I'm gonna hit Q and hold down shift, it'll hold down shift and it'll snap straight up and down. So now you're in good shape. Uh, if I go over here and drag it out and hit W, it's reset my gizmo behind the scenes. And now if I go over here and hold down shift, it's gonna snap to whatever that gizmo orientation is. So again, uh, two ways to reset this. Q and just drag this out and hit W and then your gizmo is gonna be reset to this axis. However, um, it may not be perfectly straight, although this isn't bad, let's try this. Let's go over here and like make it askew. So now it's kind of in this orientation. So now I've hold down shift. It's always gonna wanna drag out in kind of that X pattern. So if we wanna do it in a perfect straight down cross pattern, again, what we can do is we can just hold down, um, just go across this and then snap it um, to another point along that surface. So now it's going straight out here. So now when I just tap on that surface, it's gonna be straight up and down, straight out from that normal. And now when I drag it out, all of these Phillips heads will come out like crosses and not X's. So that's a way behind the scenes to kind of get your orientation on your IMM brushes to behave a little bit more expectedly.